Hey, what's up folks? It's Rojo, and welcome back to Let's Play Ironcast. When we uh, left off last time, we unfortunately uh, did die again, but uh, that will continue to happen, I think. Uh, regardless, we did do it on, we did try a hard mission though, and um, we got about halfway through or so, and then couldn't quite finish it up. So we'll start up a new game here, and uh, we'll play as uh, the only pilot that we have available, of course. Now then, I like, uh, I do like the, the, uh, oh no, it is the Arundel. I, I said last time it was the Grundle because the text kind of looks like, the Curse of A looks like a G a little bit, but it is an Arundel. Okay. Never mind. But it, honestly, it should be called a Grundle. I mean, that's a way sweeter name. But the Dunraven, or the Dune Raven, however you uh, want to pronounce that. Um, hmm. I kind of like the, uh, the rocket ability. If I'm being honest, it's just like it's a little bit more reliable damage. Even though it's got a little bit lower energy capacity. And it does still start with an energy weapon. So I think we're going to go with uh, the Dunraven again. And uh, let's see here. Nothing we can do right off the bat, I'm sure. And actually, I'm curious about we got a, a permanent upgrade that uh, every time we rank up, we get a plus three HP to our mech. Uh, I'm not sure where, if anywhere, uh, it says that. If it's just uh, somewhere, there's somewhere there's a global un unlock screen that I don't know where, where it is at the moment, but we won't worry too much about that. Let's, uh, let's see what we got for missions. I think it's always probably going to be battles, medium battles to start with, so we're just going to do the one it gives us the best combined resources is probably going to be this one, I think. So let's go. All right, we can probably skip the uh, story for this one again. Yeah, we can skip this. All right. Now then, this is a uh, this is a tank, actually, that we're going against. So what do we want to do here? We do have a special that allows us to uh, Again, if we get six or more energy nodes, uh, reduces the energy cost of our next shielder drive. And also, does it, uh, yeah. And then, um, all of our energy weapons do plus 10% damage. So let's try and get that going at least. I don't know if it counts if we use a link or not, if I'm being completely honest here. I guess we can always find out. But I'm thinking, like, check this shit out. This shit is off the chain. Boom. All right. Shoot you. And uh, does this uh, does this work? Let's see. We have five energy. No. So we actually do have to match six, which we can do uh, right here. Actually, uh, we can only carry ten energy. So we only want to probably match eight of these. Oh, no. We can only carry eight energy. My mistake. So we wasted a little bit there. Um, let's start walking. And we'll raise shields twice. And then uh, we'll be done. Yeah, that's what I thought. Shields, I think, are my, my preferred method of mitigating damage. Evasion is, you know, it's going to be spiky. And spiky can get you killed in these games. But it can also, you know, it can help you pull out the victory as well, to be fair. All right, so he's got actually some pretty good engines for a tank, but um, the only thing I'm worried about is making sure that that weapon uh, stays very dead. So I'm saying we should probably shoot him with this once. Hopefully it hits. Yep, that's a good hit. And actually we knocked it out, so that's good. Let's go for his armor next. And uh, you can actually probably just hit him with one of those like so. If we're lucky, actually, we may be able to just finish him right off here. Uh, if we do something like this. Yeah, I think we got this. Perfect. All right, we win. Very easy first mission there. All right. Let's, uh, we can skip this one, I think. Now, I think we started with 525 HP, so uh, we should have like 528 if, we, if we've if we leveled up here. 
Or, I mean, we have leveled up, but we'll see. So, uh, this is a, a general augmentation. When your opponent's health falls below 15%, all damage is boosted by 10%. That's interesting. Coolant exchange replaces all coolant nodes with scrap nodes. We definitely don't want that. Coolant has been a bit of an issue for us. And penetrating shot. There's a 10% chance that each shot from this weapon ignores your opponent's shields. Hmm. I guess I'm going to go with that one. And uh, we'll uh, mosey on. We got an Ener energy lance mark too that we could uh, put uh, to use in the future. Probably won't have enough scrap for that right away. Go ahead and repair ourselves. Yeah, we actually got quite a bit of uh, HP up. Or maybe we started 575. I'm not sure how much we get per level here, but... Um, yeah, energy weapons. A little bit too expensive for now, but we'll keep it in mind. Uh, for now, though, Penetrating Shot, I actually... want to give it to uh, the, uh, the Energy Lance instead. In fact, uh, let's click on this guy, yeah. Let's drag this guy up here to weapon B. Because uh, this guy, we're not going to be using this when someone has shields up anyway. Um, doesn't seem like a very good idea to me. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's do another mission real quick. We have uh, a hard mission. I learned my lesson last time. We're not going to do a hard mission just yet. Maybe after we get a higher level globally, uh, we'll be able to do hard, hard missions with a little bit more success. But I think... We're going to go with this one here. So the enemy attacks uh, at two separate uh, points. We've done this one before, so we have to decide who we're going to engage. I think we did the tank last time, but we'll mix it up and do an iron cast uh, on this round. Yes, yes. Can we skip this? Yeah, here we go. I shall engage the iron cast. Yes, yes. We know. All right, so what kind of iron cast is this? This guy looks kind of cool. He's got a some shot coils. Those are dangerous. Light cannon, not worried about that. And uh, he's not very fast, but he has extremely good shields. Good to know. Probably target his defenses first. This is going to hit randomly anyway, but uh, it's a nice opening move, I feel. So now let's see if we can set up a, a way to get a, uh, a six match on our... Uh, on our uh, energy. Let me see here. We can get... Which just told you how much ammo you could hold at once. I think it's eight. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, great. Still can't quite get that, uh, that six match on the energy, though. Is there a way that we can uh, maybe make that happen? If we get a little bit of... Uh, repair action going on, but honestly, I think we'll just go like that. Ah, now that's interesting. We might be able to make use of that a little bit later, but for now, I think we raise shields and then we'll uh, grab this energy as well. We have no energy left on the board now, um, so we will uh, we'll just raise shields again and raise shields again. Get them up as high as we can go. He starts walking, and yeah, it shoots us with the energy lance, much like I expected. And again. And his shields are not that high, but he is walking a little bit faster now. That's okay. I think I can I think I can deal with that. And in fact, actually, I don't even know if I need to care about his shields, if we can knock out his, uh, his main gun there. One more hit, maybe? Yeah, one more hit will do it. So that, that gun is now destroyed. Let's, um... Let's set up a, uh, a link here so we can get some more ammo and a little bit of coolant on the side. Because that's going to be extremely useful. And uh, here, I guess... I don't know, let's just get this scrap. Kind of need energy at the moment. And, uh, we can actually probably clear out this board pretty well if we pick up all this repair. Yeah, there we go. We'll get some energy next time. Uh, for now, I guess I'm going to, uh, start take, taking out his shields a little bit. 
And one more. Good enough. He's gonna have to repair that gun if he wants to shoot us with it, and he will, of course. He got a uh, an overdrive moving up. That's that's obnoxious. So he's going quite fast. We have kind of a low chance to hit him. So now is probably the time when we want to uh, start shooting him with a uh, the the other gun that we have. But to do that, we're gonna require some ammo. So let's go. We can hold eight ammo, I think. So if we go one, two, three, four, five. No, not quite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then something like that will give us a little bit of extra coolant as well. And uh, if we go maybe grab like this little bit of extra coolant, well, let's, let's, we can probably kill him this round actually. Let's try. Uh, so we want to target this weapon real quick. Let's fire. And then we want to target his defenses. And I think we can get him with uh, one more round of good shots here. So let's get all the ammo that we can. Eh, something like this, probably. And uh, we might as well get another match in here while we can. I'm pretty sure we're going to kill him with the amount of resources we have left. So let's get some scrap. That looks pretty good. Fire away! He is very dead. Good. Wouldn't mind uh, maybe getting one of those uh, iron casts at some point, though. What of the steam tank? Okay, our ground troops took care of the steam tank, of course. And uh, we got quite a bit of uh, good assets out of that, so that's, that's excellent. And we leveled up again, which is also excellent. What can we get this time? Iron cast ability. Boost the strength of each active shield layer by 10 for two turns. That seems real, real good. Five turn recharge. Weapon heat sinks, cool down. The cooling cost of the weapon is reduced by one. That seems pretty good as well, actually. And uh, energy specialization. Energy nodes spawn 5% more often. That seems pretty good, too. These are all actually not too bad, if I'm being totally honest. But I'm going to go with the enhanced shields. I like the idea of that. And uh, we'll go next. And hey, we can make some shot coils now. This is a pretty good weapon. I like the shot coils. Probably better than the energy lance anyway. Slightly. Alrighty. I guess we will, uh, at minimum, go ahead and repair ourselves. And then uh, let's take a look at our workshop real quick. So these... Uh, Let's see, actually, we can also look at our upgrades. We can get some additional space, but uh, truthfully, kind of kind of think we got to go for the shock coils. I wish we could look at. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. So the shock coils are 73 to 131, one shot, 210 health points, and one to seven splash damage. Cost three ammo and two coolant. So does the energy lance mark two. Yeah, the shock holes are like objectively better, I think. I mean, I can't really see any reason not to go with them. So let's get uh, let's get the shock coils. And then uh, we'll edit this weapon and uh, equip our shock coils now instead. And we'll keep our machine gun just in case, uh, you know, for for enemies that are moving quickly and stuff, we probably want to use the machine gun against them. And uh, everything else, I don't think there's much we can do. We have our, our new ability here as well. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, that'll do it for this time. Uh, so, until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.